In this video, children, we'll be talking about an important process that is apomixis and polyembryony. These are two terms which are also associated with the mode of reproduction. So let us talk about apomixis and polyembryony. Apomixis is obtained, the word apomixis has been taken from Greek, uh, Greek word that means without mixing. Apo means without and mixes means mi without mixing that means. It is a mode of reproduction which does not involve the formation of zygote through gametic fusion. So it's when we say it's apomixis is also a type of asexual reproduction. It is a asexual reproduction which takes place in sexually reproducing plants. And over here, there is no mixing of gametes. Also, there is no formation of the zygote and the formation of gametes by meiosis. So over here, when we say there is no meiosis taking place, which is very important for the formation of the gametes. So since there is no uh, formation of the gametes by meiosis, the zygote formation is also not there. But these plants develop seeds. So the seed formation takes place in these plants and they are known as epomictic seeds. If we want to understand it in a better way, that means epomixis is a process or a phenomena that occurs in sexually reproducing plants. And these plants, instead of going for actual fusion of the male and the female gametes, there is no formation of male and female gametes. And the formation of the male and female gametes happen through meiosis. So the meiosis is also not taking place. No gamete formation is taking place and there is no fusion of the gametes and no zygote zygote formation. So these, these type of plants are said to follow epomixis. So it resembles, since there is no fusion of the gametes taking place, we call it as a, a sexual mode of reproduction. But a unique feature is that still, the, in spite of not having the syngamy, actual syngamy, the seed formation takes place and the seeds which are obtained by this phenomena or by this process are known as epomictic seeds. These seeds are deployed in nature. This embryo which is being formed, it is obtained from any deployed cell of the nucellus or integument. If you recall the embryo sac of the plant, that is the female uh, gametophyte over there. The nucellus is a diploid cell. It is composed of diploid cells, integument or also made up of diploid cells. So these out of these two, one of the cell then develops as embryo and it develops to form the seeds. So it is actually mimicking the sexual reproduction and is therefore a, a sexual reproduction. This is not true sexual reproduction. Why we are saying mimic sexual reproduction? Because there is no formation of the zygote. There is no gamete formation. There is no meiosis taking place during the formation of the gametes. Members of Asteraceae family, Citrus, etc. are examples that follow the phenomena of epomixis. Now, one feature of the epomictic seeds since they are obtained from one parent only these the offsprings which are produced are genetically identical to the parent plant and it is mostly the mother that is the female since the deployed uh, the deployed embryo which is being formed by the nucellus cells or the integuments and these structures are the part of the embryo sac of the female. So here the genetically uh, the all the offsprings with or the seeds which are being formed are genetically identical to each other and they will be similar to the mother plant. Now what is the significance of epomixis? 
Epomixis preserves genetic traits because all the traits which are there in the female parent are passed on to the seeds or the developing embryo next offspring. Secondly, it helps in the production of hybrid seeds with combination of desired traits. So we can introduce the or we can have the two features that is it generally preserves the genetic traits which are there in the mother and also we can produce hybrid seeds by combining of the traits which are desirable. So this is about the epomixis. Coming to another important point that is polyembryony. This is a, a need, another feature which happens during the reproduction of plants. Now poly means many and embryo mean, the embryony means formation of embryo. So when we say this polyembryo Polyembryony means there is formation of many embryos. It is the presence of more than one embryo in the seed after fertilization. So here the fertilization is taking place. Epomixis, there is no fertilization taking place. Only the diploid seed is being formed by the uh, diploid cells from the nucellus or the integument. Now, coming to polyembryony, the reason for polyembryony is the presence of more than one egg cell in an embryo sac and their fertilization. So, what happens sometimes when we, uh, we have seen the structure of the embryo sac, there is only one egg cell and two synergids which are present on either side of the egg cell. So normally the fertilization take place that way. But sometimes there can be more than one egg cell and the fertilization of all the egg cells will result into the formation of many embryos. Second is presence of more than one embryo sac. Example is brassica. So sometimes what is happening over there? In the ovule, instead of having uh, one embryo sac per ovule, there can be many embryo sacs and the subsequent fertilization of all the egg cells present in all the embryos, uh, embryo sac results into the formation of many embryos. The third is the development of more than one embryo in an ovule by adventive embryony. So that these are the three major reasons. One is the presence of more than one egg cell in an embryo sac. Second reason may be the presence of more than one embryo sac in an ovule and also by adventive embryony. Now it is seen in orange, lemon, onion, etc. Here, since the fertilization is taking place, that means there is a fusion of the male and the female gametes, the uh, offsprings which are obtained. Now genetically different from parents because there is fusion, but all embryos are identical to one another. The embryos will be identical to one another, but the genetic differentiation will be there from the parents. This process has a significance. It helps to survive, it helps the plant to survive in favorable conditions. So these are two other phenomena which are associated with the reproductive or uh, with the reproduction in flowering plants. You may ask what is the difference between epomixis and polyembryony. The major difference between epomixis and polyembryony is that in the case of epimo epomixis, there is no formation of the gametes and there is no fusion of the gametes as well. Here, actual formation of the gametes is taking place and also the fertilization process is happening. So this is one of the major difference between epomixis and polyembryony. Second important point is, over here, the, the offsprings or the embryos which are being produced are identical to the female parent plant because the um, embryo has developed from the embryo sac, one of the diploid cell of the embryo sac. Over here, 
the embryos are identical but they are genetically different from the parents it is because of the fusion of the uh, male and the female gamete so this is about epomixis and polyembryony